Everyone, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Just in case you do not know, my name is Luke. It's nice to meet you, or it's nice to see you again. What I have here today is the Jack Wolfskin Gossamer two-person tent. This is a test night episode. If you're not familiar with what test night episodes are, I will tell you. Test night episodes involve rain, snow, ice, thunderstorms, strong winds, and so on. Basically, this is what I do. I take tents out, I test them out to see how waterproof they are, to see how strong they are. And in this episode, we are putting the Gossamer two from Jack Wolfskin to the test. The question is, actually I have multiple questions, is this tent waterproof? And how well does it handle moisture, condensation, and ventilation? I really like the looks of this tent and I have high hopes for it. This is a multi-day test night episode. Every afternoon, storms are forecasted. There is a good chance that this tent is going to see some serious rain, and I cannot wait to see how well it performs. This is a very interesting tent to me, and also to you all. I receive messages, comments, emails all the time about this tent. Everybody is asking, when is the test night episode coming up? There's a lot of people who wanna buy this tent, but they're holding off to see how well it performs. In this episode, I will answer that question, not only for you, but for me as well. I like the Snug Pack Ionosphere. This is basically a Snug Pack Ionosphere tent. The difference is, this is a two-person version. It is a much bigger tent in just about every single way, length, width, and height. It has one large door that can be opened at both ends, making it essentially two doors. So there's plenty of space for two people. The size is good, the weight is good, but what about waterproofness? What about condensation and ventilation? We shall see, folks. We shall see. Looking at the radar here, I can see that storms are on the way. They're firing up already. Right now, it's about 1 o'clock. So this afternoon, it should be storming. If you're new to the channel, I am here in western North Carolina. Lots of humidity and also lots of moisture. On average, we receive around 90 to 100 inches of rain per year. You can tell. Look at how green it is behind me. This is a jungle, and it's because we get so much rain. This is going to be an excellent test for this tent. So go ahead, pause the video, comment down below. Maybe you know, maybe you have this tent, maybe you used it. How well do you think it's going to perform? Or how well do you know it's going to perform? I think this is going to be a good tent. I do not suspect any sort of leaking. Maybe that's just me being optimistic. I really want this tent to work out. In fact, I'm more excited about this tent than many tents that I've reviewed recently. This tent has a lot going for it, so hopefully it will do well in the areas of waterproofness and ventilation and condensation. So everyone, let it rain, let it rain. Let's see how well it performs. Step number one for this tent is a waterproof test. We have to see that it's waterproof before I can stay in it. If it passes that test, then I will stay inside of the tent. I will test it for ventilation, condensation, and moisture control. Is it raining, my friends? Oh yes, it is raining. I really do have high hopes for this tent. I don't think it's going to leak. What about you? What do you think? This is one of those rain events that can easily drop one, two inches of rain. I'd say over the last 15 minutes, maybe half an inch of rain has fallen and it is coming down. This right here is an excellent test for the Gossamer two-person tent. Let it storm, everyone. All right, the plan is simple. The tent is going to stay out for the next couple of days. Rain event after rain event after rain event. When it's all said and done, I will be back. I'll check on it, see if it's been leaking at all. Without a doubt, this tent is in for a really good test.
Everyone, it has stopped raining for the moment. There's a pause in between the storms and the rain showers. Let's check on this tent. Did the Jack Wolfskin Gossamer two prison tent leak? Let's find out now. The moment of truth, everyone. Folks, this tent is dry. This tent has proven itself to be highly waterproof. It went through numerous inches of rain, numerous days of rain showers and thunderstorms, and it did not leak at all. Am I impressed? Absolutely. This tent really does have a lot going for it, including the price, the size, and its waterproofness. Now we need to test it out for ventilation and condensation control. Tonight, I will be back. We'll camp in the tent, and we will see how well it performs in those regards. Well, folks, numerous days have passed since you all saw me last. There was a death of my family. I had to go out of town. And this tent has remained on top of the mountain here. In fact, it stayed out for roughly a week through heavy rain and storms every single day. And I can tell you all that this tent did not leak. It is incredibly waterproof. <laughs> this is one of the most waterproof tents I've ever tested. I really am impressed. I really am. Uh, over five inches of rain has fallen, and this tent has not leaked at all. This was probably one of the longest duration rain test events that I've done, and this is a very impressive tent in that regards. So tonight, I'm staying in it to test out condensation, ventilation, and so on. I can tell you already, it's very good with this tent. This is not the first time that I've stayed the night in this tent, but additional testing never hurts, right? So, yeah. It's already pretty late. I'm tired. I'm going to kick back, read a book a little bit. So everyone, I will see you all in the morning. Oh yeah. So last night was great inside of the Gossamer two-person tent. And as I said last night, condensation, it's not an issue with this tent. It might be if you had to have this 100% sealed up and it was super, super humid. But last night, I left the door just cracked just a little bit and it's perfectly comfortable in here. Uh, airflow is somewhat limited. The bathtub floor is aggressive in this tent, so it really takes quite a breeze to make it over the top of that bathtub floor. Your real main access point of ventilation is the door itself, so make sure to set that up accordingly. The backside of the tent offers a ton of protection, and airflow is limited there. As a whole, this is a very impressive tent, in my opinion, especially for the $90 that I purchased it for at Amazon. Now, it's not perfect. There are some slight issues here and there. For one thing, I've had the hardest time sealing this tent up 100% to keep the bugs out. I've done a handful of trips with this tent, and it's the same problem. Spiders get in, and it's because of the way that the zippers come together in the corners for the door here. There's basically one door on one side, there's a door on the other side. One zipper comes from the top, one comes from the side, and they meet together. And when you're inside of the tent, there's a piece of fabric that goes over those zippers. So you really can't tell if those zippers are coming together or not. And if there's even a small hole, spiders will come in. And I have found many, many spiders inside of this tent. Even last night, there were quite a few. And that's because there was a small hole with a zipper on this side. As far as other issues go with this tent, I will talk about those in my review. Now folks, I want to hear from you all. What do you all think about the Gossamer two-person tent? As far as waterproofness goes, unreal. This is the gold standard. I mean, over five inches of rain. This tent has gone through a lot, and I am super impressed with it. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so. Hit the thumbs up. Everyone, take care. Strength and honor. Bye for now. <laughs>